I saw Roger Stone, you know, a few weeks ago in the news, and then when he's here saying he thinks Trump will probably only run for one term and that it's going to be Pence and Nikki Haley. And then I, I talked to some high-level people connected to Trump. I'll just leave it at that. And I ran it by them. And they basically said, well, we're not going to talk about it, but yeah, that's how he does things. That's that's what we think he's planning. And he's, he's told people that his goal is to get out in four years. I am completely uh, overwhelmed right now. Like Robbie the Robot, when he gets too much information, he says, cannot compute. I've got information so heavy on so many fronts that I, I feel like I just can't do it justice. You ever have that feeling when you're trying to describe something? And it's the quickening of it too. The accelerated, bizarre, mega level lying of corporate weaponized terror media. And how the left and mainstream corporate media are trying to cause a civil war in their own words and are trying to terrorize the public and are the biggest premeditated liars the planet has ever seen. And then I've got other information hiding in plain view. And I've talked to a bunch of people high up. And we have Trump's plan for the country and the fact that he is currently not going to run for re-election and was never intending to run for re-election. He wants to turn the country around, get a whole bunch of peace deals, and then ride off into the sunset. Even George Washington served two terms and didn't do that. It's, it's genius. And his goal, you know how Trump is obsessed with finishing buildings under budget and ahead of schedule. He's OCD about fixing things. And about things working really well. And you could see since he became president, this incredible maverick, the way he got in everything and the way he's turned the country around, much of the world around in just a year and a half. And then the response by the evil corrupt forces because they were artificially keeping us in that state. It's just epic. And then it makes me very, very sad and upset for my fellow countrymen and women that so many of them have bought into the hype and are just acting like idiot babies who buy whatever lies they're told day to day and don't feel insulted when they learn they were lied to. That's what's really crazy about all of this. And it really, really frustrates me because Trump really is good. He really is telling the truth. He really is pragmatically trying to fix things. And I've known the Democrat leadership is bad news and corrupt, but just to see them doing it on a mass scale boggles the mind. And then I saw Roger Stone, you know, a few weeks ago in the news. And then when he's here saying he thinks Trump will probably only run for one term and that it's going to be Pence and Nikki Haley. And then I, I talked to some high-level people connected to Trump. I'll just leave it at that. And I ran it by them. And they basically said, well, we're not going to talk about it. But yeah, that's how he does things. That's, that's what we think he's planning. And he's, he's told people that his goal is to get out in four years. Now, the, 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 the re-election he's running is, is, is in case he has to stay in, but it's just basically to lobby the country to get the policies in place that turn it around fully. And then he'll just step back in the primaries, boom, Pence is in, and the country's turned around and he just says, hope you enjoy your 5% growth rate, that's his goal, and just walks off. And that's a fact. And then it goes into his whole goal of turning it around super quick historically. If he pulls this off, it'll be so historic It'll be so good for humanity, and it'll also discredit collectivism, globalism, and MSM in an irrevocable way.
they're already irrevocably discredited. Even if they derail what he's doing, they're such nasty crooks. And the president, so genuine, so hardworking, so real, it's just crazy. And then you compare him to Pelosi and all these, Schumer and all, and Maxine Waters, and just the dysfunctional evil, it just blows me away. I mean, that's big news. And, and I guarantee you, when Trump says he's not going to run for re-election, if he thinks things are good enough to step out and, and the plan's in place, the bigger plan, that the left go, oh, look, we ran you out. Oh, look, you're a failure during all the success. They're like delusional children. Or in Monty Python, the knight that says, Nyit, that wants the shrubbery, and it's got its arms and legs cut off, but it keeps attacking, saying it's merely a flesh wound. I mean, and they just go on like self-perpetuating motion machines off into the distance with their lies. I mean, here's one of them, okay? But, but, but how bombshell is that? That I actually asked around a lot of smart people, and they said, no, no, that's actually Trump's plan. How heavy is that? How good is that? He doesn't want the power. He doesn't want his butt kissed. He, he wants to go play golf. He likes to go see music shows. He's disgusted by DC. He's disgusted by the traitors. He's disgusted by the dysfunctionalism. And he even brings in groups to power share with him and says, here, Goldman Sachs, you'll make even more money than you ever did. Just get off America's back. And they're still after him because they've got a hard-on for the country. The globalists hate America because they were hired by foreign multinationals to do it. And you got to hate your country if you're going to sell it out. So it's a collection of them whose culture is really rooting against this nation. And then there's this. I looked at the footage a couple days ago and I said, that looks staged. How the little girl, it's only photos and you hear the crying dubbed over it. And then they were like, how dare Alex Jones in the news there were news articles. He says that she was a crisis actor. I didn't say that. I said, you got a little girl crying out in the dark of the desert. What little kid wouldn't cry when they're four years old? Again, my little daughter cries every day when I go to work. She's 14 months old. My wife walks out of the room. You know, she starts crying. She, she, she's in that separation point. And they're like, oh, Jones claims she's a crisis actor. No, I didn't say she's a crisis actor. I said it looked staged. And now we know. The little boy had already drowned out there in the Mediterranean. They took him and put him on the side of the shore. That was staged. That's admitted. And guess what? The cover of time, all of it staged, and they knew it was staged. Infowars.com, it's got the article. Breitbart's got it, and it's now admitted. The government's released the documents. Fake news, crying child used by Time Magazine, and CNN was never separated from her mother and sent to a family center because they had IDs and could be checked. Most of the people go to a family center. The little kids, if they're not with an adult because their parents got killed, then they go and are separated from the adults because they don't know who they are. And all of this comes out, but the gall, the, 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 the will of the media to lie like this and to know it was fake, and it turns out that night, the media, CNN, talked to the Border Patrol and they told them, no, they've been taken to a family center, they're united, because the Border Patrol is releasing all the information. I mean, you think about evil, man. CNN knew that night she wasn't separated. And now they got caught. There's another article on Infowars.com, we're gonna get to all these when we come back. New York Times mocked after video of unaccompanied migrant children appears to be grown men. Well, they are grown men. I mean, that's how desperate this is. So, <laughs> oh, there's the children being separated, and the New York Times goes, look at the babies. They're alone without their mommies. The average age looks about 25. Where's their mommy? Where's their mommy? I mean, th this isn't media. This is terrorist disinfo, criminal groups allied with communist China. They hate Christians. They hate prosperity. And they're hired guns. They are the true enemies of this country, as the president has said. And they are absolutely 
Crazy. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. You're a white male! You're a white male! You're a white male. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We are trained.